Today, we are talking about code splitting in React. Think of a grocery store where you only take what you need for a specific recipe instead of buying everything on the shelves. Just as taking only what you need from the store helps prevent waste and saves you money, code splitting in web application helps improve performance by only loading the necessary components for a specific page or a feature, reducing the overall load time and increasing the speed of the application. There are multiple ways to achieve this. Let's see some of them. Code with Sloba. In this example, we have a web store. We have two components. One is the product description, and the other one is product reviews. These are just the dummy components that hold title and a description. So let's create a product page where we can use these two components under tabs. Create a new file and call it productpage.js. First, import use state, react, lazy, and suspense from the React library. Create a product description constant. And using the lazy function, we create a lazy loaded component for the product description. The import statement inside the lazy function is used to load the product description component dynamically only when it's needed. Duplicate this code and same as above, but for the product reviews component. Using the useState hook, define a state variable, select the tab that keeps track of which tab is selected. The initial value of selected tab is set to empty. Create a wrapper div that contains all the components for the product page. Add a child div that contains the two buttons for switching between the tabs. Now let's add a button for selecting the product description tab. The onClick event handle calls the setSelectedTab function to set the selected tab state variable to description and add a text of description. Now let's just duplicate this button. The second button is for selecting the product reviews tab. The onClick event handler calls the setSelectedTab function to set the selected tab state variable to reviews. Next, let's add a suspense component that acts as a placeholder for the lazy loaded components. The fallback property is set to a loading indicator, which will be displayed while the component is being loaded. It's just text. Inside, open a curly braces with a ternary operator that renders the product description component if selected tab is equal to description. We can duplicate this code and check exactly the same for the product reviews. If the selected tab is reviews, we will render product reviews. And at the end, export the product page component as default export of this module. Now let's import this in our app component. Import product page from product page and just include it in return method. Now, if we load our application, Open the Sources tab in the Dev Console. Under the Static slash JS folder and SRC folder, we can see that only App and Product Page component are being loaded. If we open the Description tab, we can see how Product Description component is being lazy loaded. And we can do the same for the Product Review component. Now, let's test how this works without lazy loading. Go back to our Product Page and let's remove lazy loading. Import product description from product description and import product reviews from product reviews without lazy loading. If we check our source folder again, we can see that all components are being loaded right after the page reload, even though we are not using them yet. Now think about this at scale. What if you have 20 or 30 components and how that can affect your application performance? By the way, we can achieve this also using different techniques. Let's see how we can use this with route-based code splitting. Import route link routes from React Router DOM. Make sure to have this library installed and that you have your app wrapped with the browser router. 
replace button component with a link components. Then remove onClick methods and instead add routes via two property. For the first link, it's going to be description, and for the second, it's going to be reviews. Now let's delete the tabs code and instead add a routes wrapper component. Add a first route as a child with a path of description. And the element which will be routed to product description. Copy and paste this route and add a new path. It will be reviews and for the element we will use product reviews. Once again, if we go and open our SRC folder, we can see that we achieved the same effect using route based code splitting. This is how the product page component uses code splitting and lazy loading to ensure that the only components that are needed are loaded, resulting in a faster and more efficient web store. Well, that's all for this React video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.